What if instead of trying not to be weird, what if you started embracing it? What if you started, started embracing what is so different about you that is the thing about you that keeps the energy alive in your body and your life? That if you actually embrace the true weirdness of it, would blow other people away. But you don't have to tell anybody. What if you were like, dude, I'm weird. I know all kinds of weird shit. I don't even know how I got it. I don't know why I have it, but you know what? I know there's gotta be something different possible. Does that make sense? Because let's look at it for a moment. If, instead of embracing that, if instead you went, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna live my life exactly as it's been, and I'm gonna live this reality exactly as it's been. I'm gonna try to do everything right by the, by the judgments of this reality. <laughs> How's that feel in your world? It fucking sucks, right? Okay, so you want to recognize that perhaps there is something that you know, perhaps there is something that you are that is different than you've ever acknowledged, perhaps different than anybody else has ever invited you to acknowledge. And when I talk about the being weird thing, I say it because it's one of the words that brings up a lot of judgment for us, about us, because people have said it in a derogatory way, like, you're weird. And if you start to recognize that everything everybody else has been judging you for is your power and your strength. I like to say it like this. What if everything you thought was a wrongness of you was actually a strongness of you? And what if everything everybody else has been telling you is a wrongness of you is actually a strongness of you? And you look at that and you're like, wait a minute, that seems like a wrongness, right? Like there's something wrong with you that you can't be happy like other people seem to be. By the way, they're not happy. That's a lie they tell you to try to pretend that they're better than you when they know they're not. Does that make sense? Okay. I used to live in, 15 years ago, I was living in Santa Barbara. And I used to drive to work and look left and right on the freeway. And I go, why does everybody else look happy? Why does everybody else seem so happy? And I'm not. I didn't realize they were not happy. And I was picking up on it. I didn't realize that most of them were more unhappy than I was. But I was picking up on it energetically. How much of what you have thought was yours is what you've been picking up on energetically in other people's worlds and not knowing what to do with it. Not knowing that it was occurring. Not knowing what to do with it. And not knowing how to let it go. Because what happens is when you're, have you ever noticed when you walk into a room and somebody is sad, before you even talk to them, you feel kind of weird, you know what I mean? And then you talk to them and you're like, oh, whoa, sad, oh, damn, okay, whoa. And then you realize where it came from. But before you even talk to them, you know the energy. Does that make sense? So you've been doing this your whole life with every energy that everybody experiences. You've been doing this thing of being aware of it and thinking that it's yours. What if it's not?